Okay, I'm gonna do a little ultra light whipping tomorrow. So I just used my soft steel four pound test monofilament line and I decided to use my Helios 20 and I put on a fresh uh, spool of four pound mono. Okay, I gotta replace my um, ITX reel. I'm gonna change it over to the Helix 20 for tomorrow. The ITX I was using before was 3000. These are some of my uh, Taskmasters I'll be using. So the golds are, I believe are three quarter ounce and the silvers are half. Okay, this is my little container I take with me when I go whipping. I got braid scissors, I got some extra rubs, I got some lead weights. Um, I use a special type of bait holder hook that's good for the grubs. I got beads, glow beads, regular glass beads, I got swivels, just about everything I need to um, do instant repair work on the spot. My choice of rod for tomorrow will be the Rockaway SP that just came out this year. I really like this rod, it's a good ultralight rod. This is eight and a half feet, there's two models. This one here is rated for eight to 17 ounce line and a quarter to five eighths ounce lead weight. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off a little half ounce cast master, have it tied directly to the mono. So how can I stop um, the mono from snapping? case the, the teeth hit the line. Well, I use this product here. It's called Vinyl Pipe. See that? Vinyl Pipe. Kind of like tie gun tubing. Like, you know, it's a smaller diameter type of uh, aquarium type of tubing. So I'm gonna cut a section of this, put it on the line, and then tie it directly to my uh, Fastmaster. This way, it'll help protect the line. So what I did is I tied the four pound mono directly to my coast lock snap. Um, I got, I'm gonna lose a lot of coast lock, coast lock snap, so I usually buy a bunch at a time. And you notice I cut my vinyl pipe, right? So you got a section of vinyl pipe here. So that way, we, uh, if the teeth of the uh, fish swallows everything, at least I might be able to save my lure. So it took me a few minutes to put things together. But I'm all ready for it tomorrow. Anybody interested in a half ounce silver cast master? So going with the three quarter gold. It's down now. It's way over there past that little pavilion. So just going from pier to pier. This area I'm testing my cast masters is known as Chocolate Beach. Now we just got through with some heavy rains because of the hurricane passing by. So it, I wasn't expecting much for this day. I was kind of hoping that even a barracuda might hit it, but even the barracudas had a hard time seeing to this dirty water. But it shows that um, the half ounce works pretty yeah, good, nice even uh, whipping works. directly into the wind, is which, which I showed right here. Rockaway SP with by Helios 20, four pound test line. Got a leaf. 
Okay, I decided to use a Rockaway Surf SP rod, 8 to 17 pounds, quarter to 5 eighths ounces, 7 plus 1, so 7 plus a tip. It's a two-piecer at 8 feet 6 inches. The weight is only 4.4 ounces. Okay, in the reel, oh, great reel. Helios XF SX spinning reel. It's a HSX20. It has eight high performance bearings and one roller bearing. 5.0 to 1, which means for every one revolution, the, the spool go around five times. Uh, 24.7 inch um, per crank, six pound max, 6.2 ounce weight. And uh, it has four pound mono. It takes 160 yards.